it's Ricky again. It's later in the day, and uh, Donnie's outside, and he's, or she's rather, it's a girl. He's just lounging around. She was way over there, but she must have heard me coming and thought maybe she'd get a snack. So, and doing chores. Hi, Donnie. You feeling cranky? Yeah, I know. You're a little crabby, aren't you, dear, some days? Okay, so anyway, she was over here with one of her kittens, but sometimes she sits under the porch. But anyway, I did some of the chores. I'm going to have Clay feed the quail. But uh, I fed everybody else. And some days what I do is I clean up my refrigerator. And uh, our animals always get feed, but sometimes they get some treats. And today they got treats. <laughs> Because I cleaned out the refrigerator, and so I'm, I sound like I'm out of breath, probably because I am. I've been picking peaches and picking out the garden. So the rabbits have like peaches and a little bit of bread because they like the bread. Um, just some scraps from the kitchen like that, and so they're having a heyday. These guys all have water inside because these ducks are filthy. They jump in the water and stuff. And you have to have clean water source for your chickens. But um, anyway, so I pulled up some lettuce. We didn't like it, so we just let it grow. And good thing because I just decided to feed it to the chickens. So they get they got that and some watermelon, some old scraps from the kitchens. And uh, chickens will eat chicken, so it's old frozen chicken they're having. Well, it's probably not frozen anymore because I threw it out there about an hour ago. But they'll lick that clean. And uh, anything that basically you eat, they'll eat except for avocado. These guys are chowing down on peaches and uh, a little bit of bread. They were fighting over that bread for a little bit there. But uh, these guys on the other side got some cookies. But uh, and they'll eat those along with peaches and they all had salad. <laughs> I had a whole bunch of salad and I'm like, well, I guess these guys are going to have salad. So, and they had some berries and oranges and anything that was in the refrigerator that, or in the house that I felt I wanted to keep moving. Well, you guys got better about the bread, huh? It looks like they smashed it down. So, uh, anyway, these guys are loving this lettuce. I gave a big clump of dirt with that one, so they're scratching and having fun. And these call ducks, you know, call ducks, I mean, the uh, runner ducks are a little shy if I get too close, but they love that muddy water. Ducks are such a mess. They're cute, but in the winter, they'll all harbor, kind of stay together. Ducks rarely go inside, but they can. They all have access to the barn. But... Usually the only time I've seen the ducks go inside is if they're laying an egg. But they're having a fun day. They're out here and scavenging and digging in dirt and puddles and all that. I'm over that side, I don't think you can see it. It's the clean water outside. <laughs> she just threw that up in the air. But I have a lot of stuff I want to get rid of before um i don't want to overwinter so i'm definitely these guys usually this time of the year from august to like i don't know maybe december these guys really get a lot of chowing down because between the food that we're harvesting the food we pick up and the extra food that we're cooking there's a lot of food and the thinnest time seems to be planting time but there's you know, we always buy feed anyway, but that, you know, then they just get kitchen scraps, uh, extra. But there's always plenty to eat here for people and animals. Plenty to eat. But if you only give your critters, like, this type of thing, I don't think, personally, that they put on the weight split if you're trying to fatten them up. So I don't know what I got into. It must be a... Uh, Got purple on me. Probably ink from opening the can lettuce. <laughs> so I am outside, I am hot, and it's even not even that hot, but just from like I said, going around picking stuff. But what 
I usually like to do is to um, get a lot of the chores done and then to shower up real nice when my husband comes home because that way I'm not like doing a bunch of dirty work and feeling scrubby. So I usually don't take my shower usually till later in the day. It just works. <laughs> but you know, days I'm doing dirty stuff like in the dirt. <laughs> so here they are. We have too many roosters, but these little bantams, they can't do too much. They attacked us a few times. It was hilarious because just was little. Oh, got to zoom out here, guys. Yeah, I can't zoom out. So I get to get close up. Those little bantams are so funny. We got bantams and ostrilorps. Every year we do a little different. And there's Baby, that little duck we raised in the house. She's going to be dark. It's going to be a blue. So she's next to a bigger. Nope, actually that's not Baby. That shows you how much she's growing. I don't even see her. Oh, there she is. Sorry, guys, in the camera. She looked like the other one. Now I yeah, that's Baby right there. She's more brownish right now. Getting her baby stuff in. So days I do scraps, I'll just leave this as a note too. I always make sure they have their proper diet because, um, example, if I give chicken, the ducks aren't going to eat chicken. So I have to make sure they have something, vegetables and rabbits. They're not going to eat meat, so I have to make sure that they have, like, bread type things and uh, vegetables and berries and that type of thing. So you just have to make sure that if you do feed scraps to all your critters at once, that you think about who will eat what. And I didn't know if a duck will eat a watermelon. They probably would, but I don't know that much about it. So I didn't see any of them wander over there. So, but I knew that they like these leaves here. And of course there's some vegetables and other things that they had up here too for them. But they've been eating, they've been eating now for about an hour. So they've cleaned up a lot of it. So, but they're still hounding down. Because every time I throw something new down, they get interested in it. Of course, these guys are eating bugs and everything else. So that's just a little tip, too, if you are feeding critters. But chickens will eat anything, but they can't eat an avocado. And ducks will eat a lot of different things, but just to be sure, depending on your duck. <laughs> and there is... Mick, our biggest rooster, and he has a sound like an, like an elephant. He doesn't make the cock a doo doo noise, so I always know when he crows. So he's the king of the barn. But Daisy's the, the queen of the barn, which is our call duck when she has babies, because she's super bossy. But our runner ducks have been bullying a little bit. But they they keep Mick in his place too. But they don't really care about anybody but themselves anyway. They kind of are to themselves. They all pack together. And now Baby was really running with the call ducks. Now she's running with her own breed, which are the runner ducks. And Daisy, no, actually Daisy didn't hatch her out. The runner ducks did. She was the one that I had to think. Um, she was the one that was... Uh, running loose when we went to the zoo. Okay. I have to remember her too. She doesn't want anything to do with me now. She, once she found out about the other animals, I put her in a cage a few days. Then I let her run with the duck. She basically, she, she doesn't pay attention to me. She is a little bit more social though. She'll come up closer than the other ones will. 
but I don't even attempt to take her out because I think she would run and I wouldn't be able to catch her. So I don't want to get hit by a car. So she's here. So I guess I better go in and clean up before my husband comes home. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.